This tutorial will be about uploading images to your API. We will be using Node.js and Express and we will also be using AWS S3 to upload these images. So we are going to create a super simple production ready code for your Node.js APIs in order to be able to upload files. So this could be images or any other type of files. You're also not going to store those files on your server. They are going to be directly uploaded to AWS S3. So this is pretty much an approach how you would do this in production and how you could scale this to a lot of files and users. So let us first start by creating our uh, first file, which is going to be index.js. I have also opened my terminal here and I'm going to run npm init. Um, so it's going to create our package.json file for us. Um, you can just skip all the stuff here, type in yes, and we are going to have our package.json file. So what we can do now um, is start writing our code. First of all, we are going to use express. So I'm going to write express is going to require express. Um, I still haven't uh, installed the dependency, which we'll do shortly. Um, afterwards, we will use file upload. So you could use multi-part or something else, but I found that file upload is pretty simple to configure and you actually won't need anything more than that. Uh, and it also comes with express. So express file upload. Great. Uh, now we are going to um, create our express app. Uh, the next thing is going to be AWS, so we will need AWS, which we will require over the AWS SDK. Great. Um, the next thing is actually to install of this, all of the stuff that we have imported here. Uh, let us do that. So we are going to run npm install. We have express. We have express file upload. And we also have the AWS SDK. So let us run this. Um, I have made a mistake. There is no hyphen in here. It is just file upload. Okay, uh, let's wait for our node modules to be installed with all the required dependencies. And it seems it was fine. So the next thing is actually AWS. So what you will need is to create an AWS account and create an S3 bucket. So you could use anything else um, to upload your images, but the best approach is to have like, some type of cloud provider or your own service or whatever, where you're going to store those images. You should never store those images at the server where you are hosting your API, since this is going to cause um, this is going just to consume too much memory and it's going to make your server very slow uh, if you have multiple, if you have a lot of users actually using the service. So I have done nothing special here, just created an S3 bucket, uh, leave it with all the def default properties and permissions. You could make this uh, public uh, and if it's public, the images are going to be available from anywhere. So um, let us return to writing our code here. So we are going to add a post request. Um, you could call the post request whatever. We are going to call it um, upload. Um, it is going to be async since we don't really want um, this upload to be blocking our server. Um, so this is just the standard way of uh, writing a post endpoint using express. Uh, now we're going to use AWS um, and configure it. So what we need to do, uh, also going to go to the config and update it. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is provide the access key ID, secret access key and the region. So here is my access key, secret and region. You should of course use environment variables and don't display this like that. But since I want to make this as simple as possible, I'm just going to paste it in here and I'm going to delete this afterwards. So um, don't worry for me exposing my credentials here. 
So now uh, we need our S3 instance. So we are going to do this by creating a new AWS S3 client. So this is our client that's going to interact with our packet. Next thing is our file content. So our file content um, is going to use buffer from, so we're going to create a buffer um, from our file. Our file is going to be in the request object. So in order to get to that, you could also print out the request object and see how it's structured, but it's structured um, the following way. It's going to have the request, uh, it's going to have file, where it's going to have data. In that data, it's going to have the data actually and the name. So double data, and this is going to be binary. This is our file content. The next thing um, are our params. So let's create params. Uh, first of all, we need the bucket name um, and the name of the file that we're going to upload. So our bucket name is going to be just the bucket I have just showed you. So it's going to be image upload example 222. You could, of course, name it uh, however you would like. Then we are going to have our key, which is going to be our name. So this is going to be files, data, and name. And you're going to see where this comes from. And you're going to use Postman in order to upload a file, actually. So you're going to see the entire flow. Uh, and we, of course, have our body, which is our file content. And since S3 is a value key store, it, it has a key and a body. So the next thing is to actually upload our file. So we're going to use our S3 client and we're just going to call upload. And of course, um, there is a lot of commands and a lot of functions and um, ways how you can use those clients, which are all documented in the AWS SDK. Um, but a lot of the stuff is straightforward, especially with just uploading something to S3. But there are, of course, a lot more complex things uh, for which you should refer to the AWS SDK documentation. Um, so again, we're going to have our callback, which can uh, include an error and data. And if we have an error, we can just um, log something out or, I don't know, throw an error. Of course, you should not just throw an error, you should um, have some error handling for that. And um, we are going to send uh, some data back. So the stuff that we are sending here is actually our response to the API call. We have a request and a response provided here. In the response, we're going to send back um, what actually happened. So we uh, can define a response code. So we're going to respond with a 200. Uh, we can uh, have our response message, uh, which could be a success. And we can have our response data, uh, which is going to be data. So the data returned from the S3 client. Great. Uh, that actually sums it up, I would say. Uh, the only thing left is to actually uh, start listening. So we are going to call listen. Let's say we are going to listen on for 3000. Um, and we are going to write something like uh, listening on for 3000. Okay, as simple as that. Now let us uh, start our app. In order to do that, just type in node index.js. And wow, so we started the app from the first try without crashing. Um, let's open our postman here and create our post request. So this is going to be HTTP. Uh, I'm going to use this one. So this is 3000 and upload. In order to upload a file, uh, go to the body, form data, and for our key, um, you could use something like image. And here, change this from text to file. And now you can select the file. So I'm going to upload this image here. 
and by hitting post it should actually upload it to AWS 3. So in order to check this, uh, first let's refresh, we don't have any objects here. Um, let's try to upload this now, uh, it's sending our request. Um, let's see what our backend is saying. We got an error actually. Oh, um, we actually made the error of data. So uh, we are calling this wrong. Since we don't have any error handling, that would be it. So that's the reason to have good error handling. So let's call this data. So let's do it again. Uh, so one problem that I have encountered here is we didn't use the file upload actually, which is bad. So we should use a middleware there. So app use, and we can use middlewares by using app use. So we're going to use file upload. Let's try now. So let's restart our server. Let's um, call our endpoint again. And we got to one more error. So it says that the data was not found. So the problem with that is you're calling this image, but actually we are referring to data here. So we have to rename one of them. So let's rename this one to data. We still have the same image here and let's type in send. This time it seems to be working and great. We got our response code of 200, success, and we have our location of our image here. So this is the data that is automatically provided from the S3 client by uploading. Uh, we get the key and an e-tag. So let's verify. Um, we are here. Let's refresh and our image is actually here. So we can go and um, have a look at the image. Um, since this is uh, private, uh, it is not publicly accessible. You would need to change the permissions and make this publicly accessible in order for your users to be able to read this. So that's it. That wraps um, everything up. A very simple, production ready, and clean way to upload images using Express and Node.js, and of course, AWS. I hope those types of videos are really useful and help you figuring out the small stuff in your application. So if you would like to learn more or have some questions, I will see you in the comments um, or in my next videos. So thank you so much for watching and have a blast. See you next time.